Welcome to Ucanic. In this video we're gonna take a look at the Mitsubishi that has the check engine light on and uh, we're gonna look at why that is on and and also see what code is present and fix that issue. So you can see the check engine uh, light stays on if, uh, even after you start the car and the engine is actually shaking right now. But uh, let's go turn on the ignition and for this you will need an OBD2 scanner which you will plug right under the dashboard right down here and once you turn on the scanner you can go to OBD2 and then we're just reading the codes now so here we're reading the codes the check engine light is on and three codes are present press OK to confirm now we want to read those codes and see what they are you see you one and this wants to this wants us to select the make, we're going to Mitsubishi. Alright, um, that's not found, but here we have this P0102 mass or volume airflow circuit is low. Intake air temperature sensor circuit is high. Now the same sensor, one sensor measures both these and that is a mass airflow sensor. We're going to take a look at where that is located and how to replace it. And then the code that we had here was P0113. And um, this is a Mitsubishi specific code P1590. So what we'll do is take a look at mass airflow sensor and see how you replace that. So here we have the engine. And right here you can see the battery right down here. The air filter housing. Around the uh, pipe that goes to the air filter housing, you can see that uh, we have the mass airflow sensor so in order to replace this it's very simple uh, you have this connector here you will need to press this in order to remove it once you do that you need a T20 Torx to remove these two screws right here Second, see that screw right there. And you take this and you just simply lift it up. So here is a mass airflow sensor. This will measure the volume, how much air goes into the engine, but also measure the temperature of the air. So that this is very important. You take the new sensor, you want to install it. You want to make sure the orientation of the old sensor. But as you can see this actually doesn't, it's not going to fit in the other position. So it only goes in one, it only goes in one way. Screw that first by hand. And the second one. over tighten these screws because you will break this uh, or you you don't want to over tighten these screws otherwise you might strip the threads down there and then you take the electrical connector and you push it in until you hear that click make sure it doesn't come off loose and that's it thank you for watching